is there an electric vehicle in your future? Well, if the rideshare and delivery companies had their way, the answer to that question would be yes. Hi, my name is John from Ride Upstate, and I'm going to be talking about electric vehicles in the next few videos here. And I think it's an important topic because Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and a number of other companies have made pledges to have, if not all electric fleets within the next 10 to 15 years, electric fleets of at least 70 to 90% of the vehicles. How is that going to impact us as drivers as we're making our vehicle purchase decisions? If we're not bought into the whole EV craze, if we're in a location where there aren't charging stations around to charge vehicles, how are we going to be able to use our vehicles if they're electric? Now, there's a number of things that go into electrifying a workforce, especially one that's made up of independent contractors. It's going to be difficult to convince buy-in, especially with prices the way they are now and with the lack of fast charging. Most vehicles don't charge fast enough in order for someone to make enough money, really. And are we going to be on the clock when we're charging a vehicle? Well, of course not. If you don't have a way to get charging at home, the only way you're going to be able to charge a vehicle is out at a charging station. And that's not the cheapest or necessarily the fastest way that you're going to be able to charge. And it's certainly not convenient. So it's going to be up to these companies to incentivize drivers to buy electric vehicles. As it stands, there are state and federal benefits to buying an electric vehicle. But again, as this gets more and more popular, those benefits are going to go away. So the companies that want their drivers to be using electric vehicles have two choices. They can provide the vehicles through either rental or lease or purchasing options, or they can hire employees instead of independent contractors and provide them with those vehicles. Now, either one of those options is going to be difficult for the average driver. For me, as a part-time driver, I don't want to be an employee of one of these companies. I want to be able to clock on and clock off when I want to. I want it to be convenient. And a rental or lease option isn't good for me because I wouldn't make enough money to pay that weekly or monthly fee to justify having an electric vehicle. So does that mean I would be thrown to the wayside? Or is there another option for me in purchasing a used electric vehicle? Well, as it stands right now, the used market, there's not much out there as far as options are concerned. And the most popular electric vehicle, the Tesla, has its own supercharging stations and standard charging stations that no other vehicles can take advantage of. We have four different electric vehicle charging standards in the United States, and none of them are compatible with each other. So it's gonna take a combination of the manufacturers and the businesses working together to get to a standard so that people like us and regular customers can have confidence when buying an electric vehicle. And this doesn't even take into consideration states like Alaska and Montana, North and South Dakota, Wyoming, where distances that drivers travel are long and the temperatures are cold. Batteries don't perform as well in the cold weather. Now, granted, there are going to be advancements in battery technology within the next 10 to 15 years. And there's going to be advances in charging technology as well. And hopefully that will lead to prices coming down. But I think for the average 
part-time delivery driver or rideshare driver and purchasing an electric vehicle within the next seven to 10 years is not going to be a viable option for them. Many of us who work part-time don't make enough to purchase a new vehicle every five to 10 years. So should you be making plans right now and considering buying an electric vehicle that, let's be honest, in the next 10 years may not have the range that you need in order to do a job like this. Now, I know I'm raising a lot of questions right now, and I hope to provide some answers in some upcoming videos, but I'd like to know your thoughts. What do you think about the electrification of gig work? And are you going to be purchasing an electric vehicle soon? Let me know in the comments below. My name is John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you live in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. And hopefully getting an electric vehicle will lead to more profits for you in the future. Bye.